Hello, this is Louis Gamer. Welcome back to my video game called Armored Warfare. Today we're going to be doing a look at the M113 AFV. It is one of two starting vehicles you will get the moment you sign up and get into the game. It is one of two vehicles that will be your first to ever drive. Now, it is classified as an AFV, which means it's going to have light armor, probably an auto cannon, and it's more likely tracked. Well, let's get to the stats. As you see, the alpha damage is rather low, with an average damage of 22 and pin of 69. It's not that good, but it's an AFV. It'll get you through. Now, if you look at the sustained damage, it's really up there. there you've got a 3388 3, damage per minute with a 6 second reload and a 306 round of... a 306 rate of fire. The reason you have a 306 rate of fire is because this vehicle is an autoloader. It has a 30 second magazine and it does go through the magazine rather quickly, but it's fine. Six second reload through the magazine and you carry enough ammo to get you through the whole game. Really, you're gonna have to do a lot of carrying or a lot of missing to run out of ammo. Your defense, as you can see, rather poor. 660 hit points. Uh, your hull is front. 38 side, 45 rear, 38. You'll notice it's strange that your sides are more armored than your front and back. I think it's just uh, maybe this thing was prone to being attacked from the side. The whole composition is military aluminum, which I believe is the weakest uh, substance in the game. As you can see, it has 0.9 for AP, HE, and SC. Armor pierce, AP is armor piercing, HE is high explosive, SC is shape charge. Now, you might be asking, what does the 0.9 mean? Well, as you can see, the front hull is 38 and the side is 45. You look over here, against AP, your hull is only 34, but your turret is 12. I'll get to that in a second. The blue is the uh, blue is hull, white is turret. So, the front of your hull is actually 38, but since it's only aluminum, it counts as 34. The side of your hull is 45, but it's aluminum, so it only counts as 41. Kind of see what I'm going with? And now your turret is 7 millimeters all around, but you've got it made out of catalyst steel, which is the white. Now the white numbers show how thick your turret is, and the blue numbers show how thick your hull is. Uh, one for each direction of the, each side of the vehicle. So you notice the turret modifiers for AP, HE, and SC are 1.65, 2.0, and 1.65. This means that your turret is, because it's made out of catalloy, will have 1.65 times the amount of armor that it actually has. has. So 7 millimeters becomes 12 millimeters all around. For high explosive, it's 14 millimeters all around, and for straight charge, again, it's only 12. But it's good, it's more armor thickness. It's not going to stop anything, but it'll help. Now, go to mobility. You can see it's average. Max speed of 57.6 is pretty good for a tracked AFV of this armor. It's really well armored for an AFV. 0 to 32 in 2.4 seconds. Really good. I'd, I'd say it's really good. Hull traverse of 57.12 degrees a second, which is absolutely great. It's uh, going to get you through all these twists and turns rather easily. Now your utility, you can see it's right up there. Camouflage of 0 0.393, really good. Basically means you're not going to be spotted as much as anything else. You are really easy to camouflage. You're really easy to hide. But you got a view range of 465, mil 465 meters. That's when stops and that's when you're in like a bush trying to passively scout things. Now your targeting, again, really good. Your cannon depression is 3 3 degrees on the front and 6 degrees on the back, which means if you're trying to shoot off a hill or a cliff, use your back, face your back to the enemy. And th in this vehicle it works because your back is just as armored as your front, so it'll work rather well. Just make sure if you're getting shot at or if you're spotted, you get the hell out of there. But you've got an accuracy spread of 0 0.15, which means for every 100 meters you're shooting, your shells will only diverge by 0.15 meters. And you've got aim time of 2.4 seconds. Eh, I guess it's okay. With a turret traverse of 68.4 degrees a second. Really, really good. This thing's turret swings really quickly. Okay, now. We're going to get looking at a, uh, a re replay that I have. Showing you 
what you can expect uh, performance wise from this vehicle. I'll get to you when I get to the re Okay, the replay is about to begin. The battle is about to begin. And this is Operation Ricochet, an easy mode PvE mission. I don't do PvP at all. I'm not just, I'm just not good at it. So first, as you can see, I'm headed for the secondary objective all the way over there. If this man would shut the hell up. There. As you can see, I'm doing more 22, 23, 24 damage than I, than 22. This thing high rolls a good bit, but it also ricochets a good bit. Any amount of angling just really messes this gun up. It just doesn't have the pin, and it ricochets rather quickly. You can see the uh, you can see the auto cannon going to work there. Now I was going for the secondary, but the Allied M113 got it. And just look at this little thing go. Even over this rough, soft terrain, it's still doing 56. Trying to get some shots on that M M41, didn't get any. But I'm going to be shooting over here at this M113. Yep. Now, I recommend burst firing with this weapon. It's it's just like a big rifle. Uh, single shots a bit too slow, and automatics just a bit too inaccurate. Burst fire gives it the both, best of both worlds. You've got the firepower, the fire rate, but you've also got uh, just the shots going down range, and you've got accuracy, you know? But it's just the best. I recommend burst firing with this vehicle. But, as you can see... I'm not really doing that right here. Now, as being an AFV, I've got an increased capture rate. I can capture bases quick, quicker and get out of there quicker. Now, I'm just shooting at this M41. You see the auto cannon really going to work there, but I kind of got kill stolen by that LAV-150. Don't matter. There's more stuff to kill. Okay, this is enemy M113. He's going to get a pounding. Reloading. I got a critical on him. Let's see if we can find a critical spot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I could have hit him. I believe there are two. I believe there are two vents up at the front. Okay. Getting this M113. He's dead. I believe there are two. Those two large black squares. I believe those are the two vents on this vehicle. I'm not too sure of anything else. But I know those are two vents. I don't believe there's anything on the back. Or at least I don't think so. Now we're going for this enemy T-64. Just hounding right through the side of his armor. This thing has pretty good pin. I I wouldn't shoot that thing at the front. I really only want to shoot him at the rear or the sides. The sides are much easier. Enemy 113 right there. Someone just shot. Don't know what that was. But as you can see, he's only doing six damage to me. I'm out of ammo, so I gotta reload. I gotta hide behind these crates or something. I'll get to the six damage later. But you can see just ripped him apart. Now he's only doing 6 damage to me because he's using a uh, 20mm high explosive. I believe this gun is 20mm in caliber. Oh, getting another person. T-64. Keeping his gun away from me as long as I can. Just trying to play merry-go-round with him. He's uh, using his turret and hull rather badly. Pumped him right through the rear of the turret. Now, this vehicle has a gun of 20 calibers. Or 20mm. I don't know how you say it. Just 20mm auto cannon. And high explosive isn't going to do very much. And he was shooting high explosive at me. This is very forgiving in PvE. I would have been dead far long ago if this were PvE and people were using high explosive. Oh, not high explosive, but AP and SC. This bastard, as you can see, I'm shooting him in the turret. But when I was shooting him at the hull, I was just ricocheting. This thing, again, likes to ricochet off really bad angles. So... Just try to aim for the lower glacius, or just aim for something that's flat. Now, this vehicle would be dead long ago if people were using armor piercing and the shape charge. But I believe at this tier, almost everyone uses high explosive. I'll get back to you when we get to the garage. In a okay, so, <clears throat> to continue what I was saying, in PvE, you want to use this as a light scout and maybe a support vehicle. Don't go out there and shoot at people. Well, you know, because you'll get shot at and you'll die. Very little armor, but, and very few hit points, actually. Now, in PvE, it's really easy to use, really fun to use. And I recommend it. It's just a little fun thing to just derp around with. That's it for today. Join me next time. Goodbye.